ഹായ് ഐ എം ശരണ്യ വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ നോർമൽ ഡേയ്സ് ദോശ ആൻഡ് ചട്നി ഈസ് ആൻഡ് അൺഅവോയ്ഡബിൾ ബ്രേക്ക്ഫാസ്റ്റ് ഐറ്റം ഫോർ എ സൗത്ത് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഹൗസ് ഹോൾഡ് വിത്തൗട്ട് ചട്നി ദർ ഇസ് നോ ദോശ റൈറ്റ് സോ ദാറ്റ് എ വി ഹാഡ് ദോശ ആൻഡ് കൊക്കനട്ട് ചട്നി ആസ് ബ്രേക്ക്ഫാസ്റ്റ് when i saw my mom packing lunch for my brother i also wanted to have some in banana leaf it's very hot here in kerala so it's difficult to find a banana leaf i have got only this small piece of banana leaf before packing food we have to place the banana leaf on top of fire for a minute so that it won't break while folding on top of the rice i have placed a stir fried raw banana with coconut and a coconut chutney and then i made an omelet for myself my mom used to pack me an omelet every day in my school lunch i don't like to eat eggs as much as i like to eat chicken i eat eggs once in a while not in a regular basis that day i wanted to recreate that old school lunch so i made that omelet for myself on top of the rice i placed some mango pickle and then that omelet also i placed on the rice now i'll fold this banana leaf and cover it with a newspaper i'm doing this in the morning itself I will wrap this with a newspaper and open it by the lunch time. It's 9 o'clock and we are at my mom's terrace garden. We watered the plants and spent some time there. Lakshmi likes to play here. but since it's summer time we can't spend too much time here due to the heat when i reached the kitchen mom already started making rasam she is now sorting mustard seeds ginger garlic paste crushed peppercorns and shallots i have tried making rasam many times but i never felt it as tasty as my mom's rasam Now she is adding two tomatoes, saute tomatoes for a minute, now add salt, again give it a good mix, reduce flame to the lowest and add masalas, one tablespoon of chili powder. 1/4 teaspoon of turmeric powder 1/4 teaspoon of fenugreek powder and 1/4 teaspoon of jeera powder saute everything now add little tamarind water and let the water boil by adding this water masalas will not burn and the tomatoes will cook perfectly now add curry leaves you can add curry leaves in the beginning itself mash tomatoes with the ladle now add remaining tamarind water then add plain water add water as much as you want the quantity of the rasam when this water boils add chopped coriander leaves hing powder at the last and then turn off the flame it's 1 o'clock and we opened our lunch lakshmi was very excited over this it was really a tasty lunch lakshmi had few bites she also enjoyed eating like this afternoon we got a big and sweet jackfruit so we started making 
jackfruit halwa while i was struggling to take that fruit my mom is doing it like plucking a flower after removing the seeds now we have to slice the jackfruit you don't have to cut in thin slices because we will grind this and make this into a smooth paste now we will make jaggery syrup since the jackfruit is so sweet i am taking only a small piece of jaggery melt jaggery with 4 tablespoon of water you can increase or decrease the jaggery amount based on the sweetness of the jackfruit now we are grinding jackfruit in batches using a mixer jar now we are making a dry powder for the halwa into the mixer jar add 1 tablespoon of jeera powder and 2 3 small pieces of dry ginger 10 to 12 cardamom pieces now add sugar to make this into a fine powder into 2 cups of roasted rice flour i'm adding the jackfruit paste strain the jaggery syrup and add it into the rice flour add the dry powders that we prepared previously mix everything while mixing you can add more water until you get a smooth paste but remember that you have to evaporate all the water that you added while cooking so add water accordingly continue mixing until the whole paste get a uniform texture now you have to cook this in a medium flame you have to keep on stirring till the end otherwise the bottom portion will burn now i am adding 3 tablespoons of ghee if you want you can add more ghee now i am adding some raisins and cashew nuts You need to cook this for about one to one and a half hours. This need a lot of time to cook, but you have to keep the flame on medium till the end. You need to cook this until the halwa separates from the pan. Don't forget to take a thick bottom vessel for cooking. For dinner, I had rice with rasam and fish fry. Thanks for watching.